Hi guys, Pierre from Into Fly Fishing, and this is an in-depth review of the Moonshine Vesper 10 foot 6 inch 3 weight. In this review we'll look at the rod's strong and weak points and how well it fishes on the water. Then we'll look at each component individually and why Moonshine chose them for this build. Finally, we'll look at who should consider buying this year in Vesper, focusing on technical ability and value for money. As a disclaimer, I must point out that Moonshine sent me this Vesper to test and review. I've no obligation to provide a raving review when I feel the rod isn't worth it at all. And in fact, Moonshine encourages me to be as open and honest with them as possible. Over the course of the past month, I tested this year in Vesper on small to medium rivers catching trout. I even fished a competition with it, leaving my trusty Echo Shadow 2 strapped to the side of my backpack. I used it in various scenarios and used multiple techniques on it, including throwing standard nymphing rigs, bobbers, dry and drop rigs and even streamers. Before we get cracking on the rod's build, let's first take a step back and look at where the 3 weight Euronym Vesper shines. The Vesper has a fast action which suits the Euronymphing style of the rod well. The rod is able to deliver multiple fly rigs with a little to no fly line out of the rod tip. One of the biggest performance improvements between the Moonshine Vesper and the Epiphany is the Blanks recovery rate. The Vesper recovers quick, which ultimately translates in a more accurate and confident cast. As with most of Moonshine's rods, the Euronym Vesper comes with a spare rod tip to keep you on the water in case you accidentally break one. I don't know if you've suffered this before, but I've done it a couple of times where I broke a rod tip and had to can a day's fishing. With the Euronym Vesper that won't be a problem. As I mentioned in my review of the Moonshine Outcast, I can't understand why more manufacturers aren't doing this. The original rod that was sent to me had a bit of an issue with the reel seat that came loose after a couple of days on the river. It's something that I can easily fix with a bit of epoxy by myself, but it's worth mentioning. I immediately contacted Moonshine and they informed me that it's something that they haven't seen happen before, so they were quite surprised to hear about it. The great thing about this happening is that I now know from experience that you can rely on Moonshine's after-sale service. They sent me a brand new warranty replacement section at absolutely no cost to me. So let's look at what you get when you buy the Moonshine Vesper. The rod is shipped in a solid cordura covered tube with a Moonshine logo embroidered on it. There's a sticker located on the cap with all the rod's details on it making it easy for rod identification. The rod comes neatly rolled up in a grey rod sock with the Moonshine logo on it. Unfortunately, there's no rod ID on the sock itself. It has five compartments, one for each section including the spare tip. Each Moonshine rod also comes with a unique decal. For the three-weight freshwater rod, the Moonshine Vesper has a proper fighting nut. It is made from a combination of high-quality cork and rubberized cork for added durability. As with all Moonshine rods, it has their brand acronym laser engraved to the bottom of it. This large fighting bug does a great job to provide a solid anchor while you high stick and to keep the reel away from your body while you fight a fish. The rod has a black aluminum downlocking reel seat which helps to balance this extended length of the Euronymph rod. And the beautiful tobacco colored Tiger reel seat insert gives the rod a luxurious feeling and it also matches the color scheme of the rod well. The rod has a full-sized half wells grip, made from the same high quality cork as the fighting butt. Once again, Moonshine has added the rubberized cork rings here in the front and at the back for added durability. As mentioned earlier, the blank of the Moonshine Euronym Vesper is the biggest and most noticeable performance improvement over the more affordable Epiphany. It is lighter and it feels much more refined. The rod has a matte grey-black finish and a smooth texture. This matte finish is specifically incorporated in the Euronym Vesper to reduce rod glare on sunny days so that you can get closer and ultimately land more fish. Each section has orange alignment dots helping you to assemble the rod more efficiently so that you can get on the water quicker. Moonshine did a great job in selecting and positioning the line guides throughout the rod. The first stripper guide is a titanium frame with a silicon carbide insert. This first stripper guide is placed high up on the butt section. To eliminate line sag when you high stick. All the other guides except the tip top are likewise single foot to reduce weight which ultimately improves the rod's recovery rate. The Vesper comes with a full lifetime warranty to the original owner and covers any defects in materials or craftsmanship. If you manage to break any section of your rod, Moonshine will sort you out for a flat rate of $55 with a delivery time between 1 and 2 weeks. As mentioned earlier, I used this 3-weight Euronym Vesper on small to medium rivers catching trout. 
I used multiple techniques on it, including throwing bobbers, uh, multiple nymph rigs, strand drop rigs, and even single streamers. This Huron and Vesper is 10.5 feet long, which allows you to set up and control drag free drift. This additional length allows you to clear your line from rocks, uh, current seams, and other obstructions that would otherwise kill your drag free drift. The Huron and Vesper has a fast action, but due to its extra length and soft tip, it is very comfortable to cast. The rod handles multiple fly rigs with ease, and I was really impressed at how well it dealt with ultra light combinations like a size 16 dry fly, fished in combination with a small size 18 nymph. Being such a long rod, the butt section of this Huron and Vesper is beefy and stiff, which ultimately gives the rod a lot of fighting power. Yes, the tip section is very light and soft, so it helps you to protect that 5, 6 and 7x tippet without any problems. The butt section impresses with the amount of pulling power. So after spending the last month with the 3 weight Huron and Vesper, what are my personal thoughts? On the pro side, the recovery rate of the rod is really excellent and it really gives you that confidence boost to make that tricky cast. The rod is also designed with a Euro nymphing angler in mind, so investing in this piece of kit gives you access to the latest trends and technologies in this field. I also love the fact that Moonshine supplies the rod with a spare tip section. It makes so much sense. On the con side, I must say there isn't really anything negative about the rod. I would have loved to see two locking rings on the real seat and coming in over $400, the Euro and Vespa might be too expensive for some anglers. So who is this rod designed for? The Euro and Vespa performs at a level that competes with many premium rods out there. So in that sense, it's great value for money. Also, if you want to try Euro Nymphing for the first time, looking for something special and have a little bit of extra cash to splurge, the Moonshine Euro and Vespa is an excellent choice. I hope that you found this review helpful and if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please leave them below the video. I always strive to improve these reviews which are ultimately dedicated to you. If you're interested in buying the Euronym Vespa, the purchase links can be found down in the description below. Please like and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications to be kept in the loop of any future reviews we're releasing. Until next time, cheers.